Just look on to it. Look at the carnage through my dirty windshield. Holy, don't do that on Friday evening, guys. Come on. I, excuse me, I'm working on the old lady's 95 GMC Safari. The fuel pump went out of it, left her stranded like across the road, so it wasn't that big a deal. We took that Chevrolet and pulled this GMC back up in the driveway with it. Um, shout out to Travis, my stepson. Good job. Um, anyway, I'm going to take you through the process. We're going to put a, a fuel pump in this pig. Um, yeah, let me turn the camera around. That is the relay for the fuel pump. And we have power here. And uh, we know that because this is a test lead. You put your, your um, it's a gray wire. You put your test light in that and you go in and turn the key on. And the initial power that spins up your fuel pump gives you fuel pressure before you start it. That's where this is. So if your test light lights up for uh, two seconds and then goes out, then everything here is working it properly. Um, so when we, when we turn the key on, I have the stupid alarm buzzer thingy unplugged because it just chimes and makes too much noise and I can't hear. But if we power this thing up, we should be able to hear the fuel pump spin up. And we do not. So that's a good indication that the fuel pump is shot. So what I'm doing, I've removed the screws here that hold this in place. Under here, I'm taking those clamps off and I'm and the bolt out of the bracket there. And I'm going to take that whole fuel neck off. And then I'm going to try to siphon some gas out of that uh, fuel tank so I don't have all that weight. And that will make it a lot easier. Here's my big gas draining operation. It's slow, but it gets gets it out really good. And um, I had other stuff I was doing, so it wasn't like I was sitting around waiting on it. We're uh, waiting for the rest of the gas to drain out. I'm going to do a mail call. Big shout out, two three one flash. Um, I won the knife that he gave away recently, and there's all kinds of goodies in the box. Uh, a digital multimeter, flashlight, and this uh, Kershaw knife, which is really awesome. Kind of hard to open with one hand, but I'm working on it. It's got uh, that knife, and it's got the uh, Hold on. It's got them two. Them two blades. Awesome knife. Really, really well made. Kershaw. Uh, I guess you still buy them off the Snap-on truck? I don't know. Really nice. Got a case. And then, of course, he sent me a, a big Decknel. And I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, go over and check his channel out. And uh, subscribe. He's a good guy. All right, there's the sender. Here we are underneath. I don't want to fool with those wires. It's 20 year old, 22 year old car. So I just got it to where I could use it. This is the old fuel pump. Pulled it out of there. You got to turn that ring off. And there's an O-ring that goes underneath there. And anyway, I had to do undo all the connections. And, and anyway, you just got to take your time. Be careful. And you too can change your fuel pump in your safari. Alright guys. Uh, I was working on the fuel pump here. And it got dark on me. And I couldn't video. But I did get it back in. If we can see up underneath there. There's fuel 
fuel tanks all up underneath there, all tucked away. Everything's copacetic. Fuel next put back in. It's all good. Um, even put my stupid alarm back in. Buzzer. So, oh, I heard it power up. Oh, we're going. So, all right, we got it. Um, just couldn't show everything on video because it just got dark. I, I fuel pump came out pretty good, went back in pretty good. Uh, ring gave me a little metal ring gave me a little bit of trouble. The biggest problem I had was getting the tank back up in there. I couldn't get all the fuel out of it. Um, I just the only way I could do it was to siphon and I didn't really it's hard to get everything out of the tank and uh, it's just a pain to put it back up in there by myself I only had one jack and that had to jack the thing up to uh, let me get underneath the van if I had had it at the shop um, it wouldn't have been any, any big deal but uh, anyway, I want to give another shout out to 231 Flash, aka Flash TV. He just recently changed his YouTube name. So go over to Flash TV and check him out. Big, big thanks. And we'll talk at you later.